live. What? Ah! All right. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. This is Neil Kilby and Peter Schmitz. I can't believe we went live then. That's incredible. Uh, hi there, everybody. Um, today we're continuing with scientific advertising by Claude Hopkins. We're now on chapter 15. Uh, we omitted chapter 14 because it was all about distribution, which was back in the 1920s. So it would make some sense to some people, but not really to the majority of people. And then, so chapter 15 is about our favorite subject. We're near enough mentioning every time that we're on uh, live. And it is... Testing. Testing, my it's God. Right one. Yes. So, uh, the, the important bit is that however heartfelt your opinion is about how successful something is or how it should be done, et cetera, et cetera, it is still just an... Testing. No, opinion. <laughs> oh, it's, an opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's just an opinion. I mean, we don't too. know anything until we've put it to the old, ultimate arbiter, the person who makes the decision, and that is... The consumer. Yeah, exactly. So the first... I, I like line, to say they vote with their wallet, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, this, this, is, uh, this is the first two lines of, uh, of what Claude Hopkins says. Yeah, says right. Almost any questions can be answered cheaply, quickly, and finally by a test campaign. Yeah. Then the next thing, and that's the way to answer them. Not by arguments around a table. Go to the court of last resort, the buyers of your product. Yeah. It, he says it really well, and it hasn't changed in 100 years. I remember well when he said that. Well, I, I believe you were there. So, um... <laughs> well, I was. I mean, I'm. you know, whatever. Yeah. So... You know, it's still very true today and any anybody in the direct response, direct marketing, digital advertising, they'll all tell you to test because just like you said in the beginning where I missed my cue, everyone has an opinion and it's so simple to, to confirm or deny their opinion by a simple test. You don't have to spend a lot of money to find out what your consumers have to say. If I'm, I'm going to say in terms of uh, 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 science uh, class 101, which is your opinion is just a, a, hy a hypothesis. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a good guess, but that's all it is. It's, it's a guess. So we put them together and we, we test and then we find out which ones work best. And then we test some more until we get ones which are the most profitable. Yeah. And you know, it's really interesting. You can ask what we'd call experts in the direct response business, you know, some of the top names and they would still tell you to test because even though they have an opinion that's worth more than mine, because they've been around for longer and they've got more experience, they would still tell you there. It's just their opinion. You know, oh, for, absolutely. For, absolutely. Yeah, and anybody who, who, who's in, who, who's a professional in the business will tell you straight out. If this is just a guess, I would guess it's so-and-so, but yeah. we find out we go and test. Yeah. And with, with the cost of Facebook, the, all, all the advertising media that we can now get on, on uh, electronic media, it's just so cheap. It's just so cheap, and we can do it so quickly, so efficiently. We could test 20 things at a time. How much would that have cost you back in the 1890s? <laughs> 1990s. Sorry, I don't apologize for you. Uh, tens of thousands of dollars to yeah. test that and many different things. Tens of thousands. And, and you can do it now for tens of dollars. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm, I'm running a test right now on Facebook for $5 a day. And, right. and I'll find out in a matter of three or four days if, if I've got any kind of results and, and I'm getting some, are they cost effective? And then I can work to improve it and get make it better. But but I got to start somewhere and you start small in today's world, especially on Facebook. It's real easy to start small. Well, it's, it's incredible if you know what you're doing and you know how to do it. But there's, there's, it, that, that is the point you were saying there. You're doing it $5 a day. Yeah. Okay. Um, if, if you go back to when Claude Hopkins was doing it, you would take, you'd have to go to an advertising agency, the advertising agency so would say, we suggest doing it this, then we create this advert, then we put it into this newspaper. And it would take, what, how long? It'd take a, over a, probably a couple of months to get go through that whole cycle. By the time you, you create an ad, place an ad, and read the results in a magazine, a magazine usually comes out once a month. So in newspaper, you could chat with maybe within a week or two. But yeah, 
Right. I, I'm learning it within a matter of a couple of days. But you, you'd have to do it within a newspaper and there would be a minimum cost to that. And then you would only have it specific to that area. Yeah. So yeah. anyway. So anyway, the, the important point there is, ladies and gentlemen, is that you can test. You can test relatively quickly. OK. And it is just so important to do it. Get rid of Get your opinions out there quickly, okay, and then keep testing and finding what works best. Your opinion is the first shot in the dark. I, I we've said it all. There's, it's simple. Well, well, I, I have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Peter, thank you for turning up. Um, <laughs> thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.